<laughs> Man, I didn't even think that day was coming, I'll be honest. radiator support mount for the front end and then I've got to figure out how I'm going to brace the front end of this truck because when we did the C60 it had a B mount in the middle of the frame so we've got to figure out how we're going to mount it to each side of the frame. I'm going to do some plate steel and then just bolt through the frame. This is kind of what I built so far just some plate steel just a square tube and then I just angle cut it so that we can get through top and bottom. Got that one in place I just weld that to the frame. Here we go. When we cut this front clip out, you can see where we come across and then down to give us the clearance for this radiator. I just didn't want to hack a bunch of stuff and try to keep as much structure in it as I can. Right now, I'm just trying to gain just a little bit more space between my harmonic balancer and the radiator. So I've got to just take a little of that and bend it back so that I can push the radiator forward a little bit more. And then I can go ahead and put my brace in. Getting real. One in the hole. Just a handful more. Starting to warm up here in Dixie. I don't know how it is at your place, but it's warm here. Almost time to go to the lake. Almost. This is just makeshift. The struggle is real. How fast are the boys gonna be out that door as soon as they hear this thing fire up? What's the bet? Four seconds? Trahan's gonna be first. Then Austin and then Tom. Tom's gonna walk out here looking like a dead zombie. Yeah. Plasma and just cut those puppies. Do the two. Can we just do two or like just two of them? Yep, just no, do the four.
case of your skill. Yeah, until it runs. That pipe might be okay. Put a band aid on it. Doing some electrical today, hopefully button up some radiator overflow tube, wired up the, the ignition lead to the electrical fans. Gotta still button up the water to air intercooler. Expansion chamber, I put that in upside down inverted and then I figured that it leaked so then I have to flip it over and reconfigure all that good crap. Just battling today. <laughs> Do that again. Okay, stop. That one was a little loose. There's more air than fluid. Did we loosen those up? Yeah, we took them all off. Oh. We should have never done that. We should have just left this, just unfolded this from the fender, then left all these lines hooked up. Okay, pump it again. Does that feel better? Okay, go check your, see if you get four. Okay, Austin, give it like four good pumps. I want you to pump, 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 and then just hold it, put it down. Okay. Okay, it's loose. Tight. Tight. Pump it, Austin. Pump, 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 hold. Is it squeezing through on the threads, maybe? Did you just barely crack the bleeder, or did you like spin the bleeder? I can barely crack it. Try that. Try that. You barely crack the bleeder. Now it should be a quarter turn. Is that steady coming out right there by your knee? Okay, pump, pump, pump. Just keep pumping for a minute. It's really airy. Okay, let's go ahead and just cap that one. Okay, pump, pump, and then hold it. Just hold it. How many are you ready to hold? I don't know if you get it. Now let it crack it, shut it. Okay, let's come over to this other side. Let's do this other side. We'll just kind of bounce back and forth. Maybe we can work it out of the system a little bit better. Awesome, pump, pump, hold. Okay. Again, pump, pump. That tube should be full. No air. Austin, pump it, pump it, pump it. Okay, hold. We're scuffing down all the oxidation on the truck so then we can apply our wipe on clear coat. But yeah, getting it all roughed up. There's some of the yellow house paint that somebody put on there that we're getting off. Did somebody turn off? Oh. Be all worn. Yeah, I didn't even think that day was coming, I'll be honest. Oh, look, it already is. What day? The day that we were driving? Right, but that was going to happen. Not today, anyway.
it's starting to get like 90 degrees during the day, which is hot for most people, but we get like 120 while we're through. It's just the start. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. We we're super excited to see this thing drive. You saw us scuffing it down. In the next video, we are gonna be applying our clear coat, get it all shiny. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Dodge Power Wagon. Power Wagon. I wanna do that truck. What the gay? I wanna get a big freaking baby gun. Yeah.